Hello, everyone. My name is Jackie Hode. And I'm smoking is a personality trait, Devin. And welcome to the One Pod Peace Cast. It is a rough spot to be in currently, though, in One Piece, just because we are getting so much information, but it's information that, like, is building that anxiety of, you know, what's about to happen. And I think the part that does kind of frustrate me is there's, like, straw hats that we don't really have full explanations on yet, and straw hats that haven't been, like, fully actualized, and I'm like, we are so close to the end at this point. Like, I don't... I want more time spent with the characters I've spent more time with. And, you know, like, I like Kum. I mean, fuck, Smoker's my favorite character. It's, I, I enjoy the side characters One Piece. The issue stems from the fact that there's so much already in the series. And we have still more questions than answers. Because, like, where the fuck does Luffy come from? Uh, what the fuck is Dragon's Devil Fruit? Uh, what's the point of the Revolutionary uh, Army? Oh, uh, who knows? We might get, like, uh, Dragon's Devil Fruit in Kuma's backstory. I mean, Maybe, possibly. Which is fair. But, like, also, something about how they've been releasing information. It's been a lot of just, like, Oh, hey, it's me, the character that's gonna be important later. Don't mind me. I hope I don't get a weird devil fruit or anything. And then here's Ivanko, you know, gender swap, gender swap, gender swap, gender swap. You know. I mean, that's how, like, Luffy's mom got turned into a crocodile. No, like. no, 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 no. Crocodile. I'm, I'm not against the theory of, like, crocodile originally being, you know, a woman and then got changed to a man. Mm. To me, there's enough there that it would make sense uh, if that were to be true. If it were proven to be true, uh, the whole Luffy being crocodile or crocodile being Luffy's mom, just it, that's where the whole theory breaks down for me. Ah, it's it's so fun. It's so fun. Though. Not this week. <laughs> I won't say that. That's gonna get sprung on you one day when you're not expecting it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till you're having just like an explicitly bad week and be like, "Hey, sorry, things have been really rough." Time for your least favorite conversation. I mean, that's already every week. So how's it going? To- <laughs> Every week is harder than the last. <laughs> um, final one. I think we should uh, just do you know a couple little couple little gimmicks for this one. It's find a devil fruit randomizer, and then we have to pick between the two of them about which one uh, we'd prefer. And then that would be a good like final little gimmick. All right. So and- actually, like not a bad, not a bad um comparison, or of like which one to get. All right, so the two that we got were the Ushi Ushi no Mi Mado Zo, uh, which is the one that Jack of the Beast Pirates, Kaido's crew, uh, had. Or as a lot of us in the fan community uh, call it, the Mammoth Mammoth no Mammoth. Or the the biggest letdown of a hyped enemy. Ice Ice no Mi. Or the Ice Ice Baby no Mi. Uh, well... Or the, hey, pretty girl, what are you doing later tonight, Ice Ice Nomi? That, that's the other fruit, is uh, Aokiji's Ice Ice Fruit. Flex Flex Nomi. Now, are we picking a side, or are we just arguing for which one is the better of the two? I think it's more of just like a favorites thing. You know, occasionally we might agree, occasionally we might disagree. I, I have a feeling we're probably going to agree on this one. You go first. Ice Ice Fruit. Oh, you're fucking wrong. It's Mammoth Mammoth No Mammoth. Oh, come on. This is the natural enemy of the Mammoth Mammoth No Mammoth. Okay. No, 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 no. Ice Age, for crying out loud. No, I mean, okay, yeah, sure. Ice Age. What the fuck ever. (laughs) The weak is Logia. Like, just... It's one of the few that allows you to travel across water without being impeded by the water. You know what else lets me travel across water? A fucking boat, JJ. Yeah, but... uh, You you know what it doesn't let you do? Power Blitz 90% of an island. Are you sure about that? Well, I mean, obviously, I know it lets you Power Blitz like 90% <laughs> of an island. But that being said... Mm-mm. The only thing that we've seen the Mammoth Mammoth, no Mammoth, be able to gain you is essentially the strength of a Mammoth. Okay, yeah, shit go hard. Like, the fuck? I mean, that just gives you Rampage ability. Okay, yeah, but you could use a giant sea stone club. Congratulations, you have you have you could wear sea stone armor. You are strong enough that you could coat yourself, like you would just need a layer in between you and the sea stone. Bada bing. This that you have to be that that's a melee range. You have to be melee range. Ice ice know me. 
you stay away. They, like, if you have sea stone armor, you are just walking through that devil, devil fruit. See, you're putting way too much importance on sea stone, considering how rare of a, uh, a metal it actually is. I'm just saying they could vibranium this shit up, make it real thin. They could have made sea stone bullets by this point if it wasn't for the fact it's so rare. I'm and they're like, cowards. <laughs> fucking cowards. Because also they wouldn't make a weapon that could stop their top contenders. Like, they wouldn't make a weapon that... They specifically stop weapons that can put down uh, high-ranking members of uh, WG from existing. A sea stone bullet could put down uh, their, like, fleet admiral leader right now. Right, and the and the reason why you also don't see in the hands of the enemies as much. Like, the only enemy that are non-world government-associated enemy that we've seen that has it... Crocodile. But, 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 but... Ben Beckman's rifle. What if he made sea stone bullets? What if that's why uh, Kizaru was like, Ooh, don't shoot me? Because like, what if he's invented the one bullet that can put down a devil fruit user? Well, it, he probably wouldn't have invented the one bullet, but it probably has the uh, the usage of such things. Like he, if anyone had the ability to get something like that, it would probably be Shanks's crew. I'm going to die on the hill that Ben Beckman is an inventor because he is named after a real-life scientist. There's a real-life scientist. Well, I, th- I think Ben Beckman has been stated as being the... Smartest s- person in the East Blue. Was it the smartest or yep. the second smartest? It w- he was the smartest person in the East Blue. Because I know, like, Nami came right after him. Well, yeah, but Nami's, like, smart in, like, her specialized, like, way. Like, Nami has a select set of skills. Map-making, plan-making, thieving. Ben Beckman, they just called the smartest. I feel like it's very much uh, Reed Richards v. Tony Stark kind of things, where it's like, Tony Stark's probably a better engineer. Reed Richards is considered the smartest in the Marvel Universe. Or maybe it was Ben Beckman, Kuro, then Nami. It was something like that. Yeah, I mean, like, Kuro was up there because, you know, his cat-like intelligence. We've moved past that. <laughs> I wish I could just say we moved past things I was wrong about. Um, like, Ushiyoshi, Ushiyoshi no Mi model is, so, is broken. The durability in it is insane. I mean, it's got durability, but at the same time, when going up against something like that, I, I mean, we saw Jack basically fail at everything he tried to do. It took the entirety of the Minx. To trick Jack into falling into the ocean and dying of natural causes. Oh, not dying. Well, he's just there. Just stuck. Yeah, well, I... Oh, shit, yeah, because he's a fisherman, so he can't drown. Right. He had to be rescued. Whereas, you know, he wouldn't have fallen in the ocean if he had the ice ice fruit. Just, you're just really underselling the, the mammoth spirit right now. No, I'm not. You're you're overselling it. The... the In, com- in comparison, like, if, if it was any... I wouldn't say any other fruit, but there are a lot of instances where, yeah, I would take the mammoth fruit mm-hmm. over over another devil fruit. But when compared to the ice ice fruit? Yeah, I mean, I guess I get it. I guess <laughs> I, I mean, get it. Just, just think about it. You're having a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee too hot. Just naturally a yeah, little bit of ice. I, th- yeah. There's so much utility outside of just combat that you can use the ice ice fruit fruit for whereas with the mammoth what are you going to do just give rides uh yeah infinite uh, income ice how, how, I, mu- how I, much how belly many, would you drop on a mammoth ride how i mean probably honestly probably not much oh dog i'd be all about that mammoth ride also remembering the whole ushu shinomi model uh zo does make me want to double down in a theory that i previously had that uh saturn's fruit is going to be the ushu shinomi model oni uh, cause I think it's just going to be like the demon bison. Um, and like Ushioni, uh, looked more into it is a, it is a pot spirit. It is a bison demon trapped within a pot and it's supposed to have like an insexual body that comes out of it when it crawls. Oh, I think there's like a couple, uh, that is, looks similar to what Saturn has. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember the other as more specifically there's like one other one that's similar in appearance so i it's probably i mean i think ushi ushinomi uh ushi ushinomi model oni probably makes a lot more sense just because of how prominent it is 
Um, but I also kind of like the idea of like it being the model. Like we've got so many where it's like bison, bison, fruit, model, or dog, dog, fruit, model, this dog. It would be interesting to have one where the model is the same. Like, like say all of them are model Onis, but it's like, like say dog, dog, fruit, Oni. Ushi, Ushi, Nomi, Oni. Yeah. The, uh, like, Inki, Inki, Nomi, Oni. You know, things like that. Katsune, Katsune, Nomi, Oni. You know? Yeah. I mean, probably, like, the five grand elders being the five demons would make sense. And Emu, uh, you know. Lording over the demons. Though I still like the idea of devil, devil, devil fruit. Devil, devil, devil fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Akadama, Akadama, Nomi, model, Akadama. God, there's just, like, another layer of zone fruits where they're, like, turns out this is actually the god, the, the Kami Kami no me. You're not even a zone fruit, Luffy. You're, you're the Kami Kami no me model Nakia. And I'm the Dama Dama no me, the, the, the Kenya. Now, it, I think it would be way too late in the game to introduce, like, the God God fruits. If, if that was a thing. I mean... But I mean, yeah, it's not like Oda has introduced any concept super fucking late I, in the game. I don't think there's a problem with introducing something late in the game, mm-hmm. but something so substantial as like, I mean, we got that with the Nika Nika Nomi. Yeah. Now, if we were to go even further and then find out, oh, it's actually the God God fruit. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is getting to the point that it's like anything extra like if they give Zoro double fruit I'm gonna fucking flip a table I, I think everyone on the crew only the ones who currently have devil fruit should have devil fruits the ones who don't should it Brooks Luffy Robin Chopper that's it right I believe so yeah yeah cause Yamato didn't join the crew Correct. which is fucking I whack. mean she's or he, I'm not sure whether to refer to her as a him or him or as a her I mean because it, it's it's like <laughs> With them, I feel... I'm going to refer to them as them, since I'm not sure. Yeah, and I mean, like, just dying on the hill, though, there is... They, they've they established, like, use of he, him. Their dad has said son. You know, so it's like an established identity But thing. I don't think Ko- uh, Kaido is the best representation of honoring some someone's wishes. And yet, still called Yamato his son. You know, like, that was... Like, Kaido had his flaws, sure, but... I think Kaido is what happens when you write a suicidal character from the point of view of the hurt person hurts people. Right. It's, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like with, uh, what's Izo's, uh, sister's name? Where it was that it's obviously that they viewed themselves as, uh, as female. Mm-hmm. Whereas with Yamato, it just, I, I, it always just felt like they, viewed themselves as Odin, not as male, not as female, but Odin. That's how they viewed themselves. So I don't, I mean, you're talking to a non-binary, right. so of course I'm going to be like, <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, it's a spectrum. Uh, and maybe, like, a lot of people, especially, like, and the non-binary anything, will look at individuals that give them gender envy, and they're like, I want to be like you, I want to be like this, and design themselves, you know, off of it. Like, if I could be Michael, and I don't remember the name of the actress who played Michael in the Constantine movies from like the early 2000s, like this radiating monster of androgyny. Like, oh, I fucking oh, live in it. It would be amazing. But, you know, we don't have that. We don't get that. So on and so forth. But still, think should have been on the crew. It still would have just been like I mean, cool to have another combatant. Technically, they, they are a honorary member of the Straw Hat crew. Uh, they're just. I'm trying to remember exactly why they kind of left uh, them there. Because they had to to stick in, like, repair Wayno and stuff, like... Right, uh, protect, and... Yeah. And then immediately get put down by Grumble. Like, immediately. (laughs) Which, that's so disappointing, too. Like, I know they had to introduce Grumble and, like, make him strong and power scale him so everyone knows, but, like... Fuck, have Grumble fight someone else. You know, like, Wayno just got washed, but also Grumble is kind of going to be the reason Wayno gets revitalized just from him being there. Which I'll say in that scene, I feel like they really should have had the Momosuke and his people mm-hmm. and Yamato be able to fend off Green Bull without having to worry about Shanks. Yeah, like... Or help help from Shanks. Which, I mean, it was awesome and cool to see that. Leave this young country alone. But it, it, it I feel like it kind of 
defeated the whole purpose of them fighting Green Bull and then Luffy being like, well, I guess I didn't have to step in. Huh? I guess they are strong enough like this. Mm-hmm. No, because even you noticed that there was a familiar... Yeah, and you're stupid. Um, <laughs> so that's probably a good place to sign off for this week, just to cover what we went over. Kuma Kuma's constantly altruistic and has been a good character ever from the jump, so you know it just makes his current history much sadder. Which we'll probably find out more next week. Mm-hmm. Which, for y'all, it'll probably be two weeks uh, before we talk about this again. So. Oh, yeah, because podcasters write, so we definitely just get early copies of chapters. A whole wink. Well, that, and since we're recording this every two weeks, you know. Mm-hmm. Time. Time. Right. Time. Time. Uh, we covered that you were wrong about Kuro, and I am right about Kuro. And also... Uh- that is yet to be decided by the comments. Uh, <laughs> Get in the comments. Kuro is a lesser mink. I'm right. Lesser Kuro, minks exist. Kuro is not a lesser mink. He just displays a lot of properties that can be considered animalistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we established that randomizers are abusive to uh, quick fights and that Anil wipes the Amazonian tribe, just unfortunately. Sans, potentially Boa. That I, might be a more even fight. We're not... We haven't really gone into that enough to decide on that, mm-hmm. but more than less, yes. I mean, like, feet for feet, just sans, like, and an old, like, getting washed by Del Fruit. Because even though she has hockey, it's still, like, cool. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Like, he can spam lightning, like. But I think, I think she has a lot better ability to withstand a lot more of those kind of attacks. Cool. But, Get well, let's argue this another time. Get hit with 30 of them. Just We're saying. in the recap right now. <laughs> and then, um, last but not least, that... Uh, or y'all argue that in the comments as well. What uh, do y'all think? If, if JJ points out some arguments, I'll come argue with you guys. Fuck it. Um, and that Lugia fruits are more useful and better to have than zone fruits. Oh, so you're conceding that one? Well, I mean, duh. Like, I just, I just honestly, like, I already knew which answer I was going to take the second, though. The ice ice? Yeah, like, obviously. It's fucking any other option is stupid. I've consistently liked Lugia users more than any other user. Like, Ace was my first favorite character. Uh, Smoker's uh, my current favorite. There are Paramecias that I would take over Lugia, but, uh, I mean, there, there are, I can't think of really, even the mythical zones, like, I, like, even Nika Nika Mo- no me. I like there are other Logias or Paramecias that I would go for. What Paramecia would you take over like Magellan's? <sighs> <laughs> anyway. Uh hockey is broken. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you so much for coming out. JJ, pleasure as always. Till next time, we agree to disagree. Till next time, we agree to disagree. Alright, all, right, all of y'all have a wonderful night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get in the comments. Hi.